how you doing this is Tom Styles and this is Tom's radio room show and we rushed outside because it's uh, nice and sunny it's about 60 degrees the wind has died down a little bit so I figured well let's just go out there and see if we can capture this on video real quick a lot of people have been asking me to finish up digging into this broomstick antenna um, if you watch the other videos, uh, I could not get it to work. I tried many different things to try to get it to work, so I've been trying to slowly take it apart and see if I can find the problem. I've cut this end, the cap, off and got down to this wiring. I didn't understand why there's these three connections. You know, there's, there's the wire that comes from the antenna. Then there's a little piece of additional wire put on it, and then another piece of wire put on it, and then that put on the connector. So I don't know what that was all about, but all the all the connections were good, so that wasn't the cause of the radio not working. So now I'm going to take my Dremel tool and cut the cap off of this end, see what I can see down in there, and then try to pull out the dowel, or it's not actually a dowel, it's just rectangular piece of wood that the, the uh, wire is wrapped around to make the antenna. Uh, see what's going on down there, see if I could even pull it out. So we're going to try that right now. And uh, right, This is one video I need a cameraman, but I don't have a cameraman, so it's a one-shot deal. Once I cut this thing open, it's cut open, so hopefully I can get the camera set up right. So I'm going to move the camera right now, see if we can get a better shot of what I'm going to be working on over by the table here we go oh yeah it almost fell okay here we go I'm gonna put on a little shield here protect the eyes and we'll sit down so I got a good stable position here and here's my Dremel tool and what we do we're gonna cut the very end off of, let me turn the monitor up so I can see a little bit what I'm doing. Uh, we're going to cut the very end of this cap off first and see what we see down inside. So here we go. There we go. Okay. Now, what I see is the end of that square plug that's down in there. And uh, that's about it. I'm going to see if I could cut some more off of the end of this thing so that I can get a grip on that piece of wood and see if I can pull it out. So here we go. Make it a big mess. Kind of getting away from me.
There we go. Good. What a mess. Okay. So now I'm gonna pull the end off of that. I say I'm gonna pull the end off of that. Maybe I'm not. There we go. Wasn't quite cut all the way through. I didn't notice it. Okay, now you can see, possibly, that here's the wire that's wrapped around this piece of wood. And I don't, <laughs> I don't know how the maker of this got this jammed in inside there because that wire is right up against the tube. There's no play in there at all. And I don't know if I can even pull that out. We shall see. And what it does is you take the end of the wire. I have no idea whether this is showing up on my camera or not because I can't see it because of the sun. And drill, drill a hole in the little square piece of wood and shoved the end in that hole. So that's how he terminated it. And let's go get a pair of pliers and see if I can pull that out of there. Not that I had on half. So let's see. Now we're going to see if I can pull this uh, piece of wood with the wire wrapped around it out of this tube. I'm, I have a feeling I'm, I'm not going to be able to because it's really tight in it. We use the bigger pliers. Oh, I hope I took the shield off. And I think, and yeah, you're not seeing what I want you to see because I gotta move the camera down. I need a cameraman, that's what I need. So I need to get lower here. There we go. Now maybe you can see what I'm talking about. Whoops, let me flip this over again. Okay, now, there's the end cap cut off and exposing the piece of wood that the wire is wrapped around. And now I'm going to try to pull that piece of wire, I mean that piece of wood with the wire out. Here we go. Get the old handy dandy vice grips locked onto that thing. A little tighter. Nope, a little tighter. There we go. Yeah, it's coming out. Not easy. Whew. Let's see. Yep, it's receding. Okay. It's coming out. Not easy. Okay. I've gotten down so far, and now the wraps, these are pretty far apart, and these are right up against each other, snug against each other. And that's why it's getting hard. There we go, now it's coming. There we go. Now it's coming. Ah. There we go. Almost there. Let's take this off. Okay. Now you can see uh, he's got it tightly wound up here. There we goes. Oop, and I pulled it off the end. So let's pull that back through, and there's the tape I saw that was wrapped around the end of it, and so it appears that he, um, he made a mark right here, a black pin mark, that looks like the design was that you tightly coil up to this point, and then you loosely coil for a while, and then you tightly coil and then you loosely coil. So there, there's what it's made of. Um, 
pretty well, you know, you did a pretty good job of constructing it. I still don't know why it didn't work. Um, maybe the, the concept is flawed from the beginning. And it appears that these were wound tight at this end, all the way down. And then, like I say, then there was, it was spaced out for a while. And then he's got, he's got it marked off on this section right here. There's a black line, there's a line going up to here, another black line. So it's like, this is part of the design to space this out. And then at the end, it's spaced out. So it's tight winds in the middle and on the end. So that's how it's constructed. Why it didn't work, I don't know, because I checked all the connections, and the connections were all good. I, I don't, it's a mystery why it didn't work, but there it is, the broomstick antenna. That's it. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Capture anything.